How come that one of the most stupid uh, justification for taking someone else's homeland is respected in the world at large as a logical, moral position. And I mean the justification that every Israeli Jewish boy learns at school, every Jew in the world that supports Israel know by heart, and everyone who supports Israel, whether they are Jews or not, take for granted as the truth. And what do I mean? The idea that someone can knock on your door at the middle of the night and say to you in Luxembourg, excuse me, I used to live here 2,000 years ago. And you don't come alone, you come with the chief of the police, and the chief of the police says to you, you know what, this guy has a point. He lived here 2,000 years ago. And you say, what should I do? He said, well, he's willing to take only half of your house. And you say, yes, but this is crazy. I call these people with the white gowns and take this person to the lunatic house. This is, and take yourself to the lunatic house as the chief of the police. Why are you thinking that I should give up my homeland after 2,000 years? What, what is two, I don't, does anybody know what happened in Luxembourg 2,000 years ago? Can you imagine someone from Spain coming here and telling you, excuse me, Luxembourg belongs to Spain. 2,000 years ago, we used to live here. At least we want half of Luxembourg, and we want the good part of Luxembourg. You can have the, the, the poorer part of Luxembourg. And then they will tell you, actually, we want the whole of Luxembourg. Because why, not, why take only half?